here's our Runva winch. Uh, as you can see, if we're going to mount this into the back of our our B bull bar there, the mounting bolts are basically on the bottom. Effectively, the winch will mount in that position, like that, into the back of the bar, and the clutch will then be at the rear of the winch just here, uh, which won't be reachable uh, from the front of the vehicle. What we need to do is release these eight bolts, uh, rotate that housing so it's in the upright position there, uh, and then that will be accessible from the front of the car through the holes at the top of the ball bar there, and we are good to go. Uh, so literally all we need to do is just undo these eight bolts, uh, keeping pressure on the actual housing itself against the winch. Rotate it 90 degrees and then put those uh, bolts back in. good way to do this is put the winch up on its end like this. Hold it between your knees. There is a little bit of weight there so you'll have to be careful with this. I've got this on some of the packing foam that was included with the uh, winch bar itself. It's a 5mm Allen key. Uh, so we're just going to go around and undo all of these. Now these instructions can be found on the Runva site so they're pretty straightforward. Uh, it's only four steps, I think, to the instructions that they supply. You will also note that there's not a lot of pressure on these, uh, so you don't need to back them off too much before they come loose and are able to be taken out. They are fairly long, though. That's the first one. I'm going to leave the one closest to me uh, still in, or, or to last, and that way it's going to support the weight uh, of the housing, so it's not going to slide off and come back towards us, and that way I can get a hand on it. Now, there are some spring washers and some flat washers on each of these bolts, uh, so make sure you keep those handy. So we're down to our last one, um, so I'm going to start paying particular attention to ensure that this clutch housing doesn't come away. There obviously is a little bit of weight of it, so it's going to pretty much stay seated there. That's that last bolt undone. Pressure on top of the housing. Last bolt out. It says apply downward pressure and just rotate and it is clicking a little bit here it is so we've got 90 degrees you will feel it sort of as it gets to those holes and they line up it does sort of drop in a little bit so again still holding some downward pressure put that same bolt back in get that one seated and take it all the way down until I can start feeling a bit of pressure on that spring washer which is about there and again I'm just going diagonally here just because it makes sense um, there's going to be a gasket under there that we don't want to pinch or tighten down one corner in particular uh, so we'll go around and go on a diagonal and just drop these in there wasn't a lot of pressure on any of these bolts um, so we won't be applying too much pressure to them once they're done uh, we'll get them back to the same tightness. So pay attention to that when you're uh, actually pulling them apart. Just pay attention to how much tension is actually on. Pay attention to how much tension is actually on the bolts. And there wasn't a lot. So obviously the, uh, the waterproofing is reliant on the gasket. And uh, often when gaskets are uh, in play, you don't need to apply a lot of pressure to them. If you apply too much, uh, sometimes they will <coughs> obviously get squeezed or they will get pinched. Uh, and they become ineffective so uh, don't be cranking down on this uh, once you get around to uh, doing that last lot of tightening and our last bolt here as a final it's worth just zipping around again because sometimes when you tighten up some um, that can compress things a little bit and the others will have a little bit more movement uh, but I'm finding these are pretty good yep and they're all done uh, this is the clutch lever that comes on the XP Premium, which is a lower profile than the one that actually comes on the standard uh, 11 XP. Uh, so I just want to stick that under and just make sure we have got clearance uh, under that ARB bar there. And there we go, good to go. So now we've got our clutch lever on the front here, rather than sitting up the top. Again, because it is going to be mounted in this orientation, which is going to put these bolts uh, to the front of the bull bar. That's it guys, not much to it. Just those eight bolts. Hold it, downward pressure onto it, uh, make sure that stays engaged. Rotate it your 90 degrees or 180 degrees or whatever you need it to be. Uh, and then just drop those bolts back in and tighten them up. Uh, making sure not to overdo that pressure on them. Can't be simpler. Thanks guys. Uh, we all catch you on the next one.